let's see what is production what is production what do you think is production now production when we generally think what comes to our mind is manufacturing something or creating something or making something but that is what we think in our common in our general parlance this is the understanding that we have in our common parlance that is making something material now what does material mean here material here means something which is tangible something which is in the form of material which is physical so this is what we understand generally about production but let's see what is production in economics production in economic means conversion of resources of nature to satisfy human wants it is the conversion of resources of nature now there are three things here first is the natural resources and these natural resources are converted into some other form we call them finished goods this is the conversion process so natural resources are the raw materials or the inputs these are the inputs or the raw materials which are converted by some process maybe manual maybe with the help of machines or automatically so natural resources act as the raw materials or the inputs and these inputs or raw materials are converted by some process into some outputs that is the finished goods now the question is why do we convert these natural resources or the inputs into the outputs the answer is to satisfy human wants so that we can satisfy the human wants the sole objective of conversion of inputs into outputs raw materials into finished goods is to satisfy the human wants we convert wood into paper we convert wood into chairs and tables so that our wants can be satisfied it is also the activity directed towards satisfaction of wants of people by converting physical inputs into physical outputs that means the physical inputs are converted into physical outputs that is there are some tangible inputs there are some tangible resources which are given to us by the nature and what we do is we convert those resources into something else and why do we do that to satisfy the human wants for example we convert cloth for example we convert cotton to cloth from cotton we make cloth to satisfy our wants of wearing clothes of covering ourselves now can we cover ourselves or can we wear cotton no we cannot wear cotton in its raw form so what we do is we convert it from its crude or raw form into cloth which can be worn likewise even the intangible services like the services of doctors lawyers some other professionals like teachers actors dancers etc 
also come under the definition of production in economics because doctors and lawyers also provide their services to satisfy human wants i want someone to fight my case in the court i therefore go to a lawyer he fights the case for me he satisfies my want i feel ill today so i go to a doctor to get well doctor prescribes me medicine checks me and prescribes me medicine so he is giving his services to me he is satisfying my want so not only some things which are tangible are included in production services which are intangible are also included in production now the important thing to understand here is the important thing to note here is that production does not mean creation of matter it doesn't imply creation of something or anything because man has inherent limitations man can never become a creator he can only exploit or manipulate what is available in this world what is available on earth he cannot create anything by himself it is only god's domain to create so man can exploit what god has created and change its form into something which gives him utility into something which satisfies his want so in short production is creating utility out of what is already available on earth so production is creation of utility utility means it is the usefulness of a product it is the want satisfying capacity of a product but utility is of four types first form utility second place utility third time utility and finally fourth personal utility now let's see what is form utility form utility is changing the form of a good changing the form of a particular thing and converting it to something else something other than what it actually was i just gave you the example of wood we convert wood into paper so that we can use it for writing we convert wood into furniture so that we can keep it in our houses or office to be used for sitting we convert cotton into cloth so that we can wear it we convert iron into machines so that we can produce some goods so what is happening is these elements or these things like wood cotton iron these are already available to man what man does is he only changes the actual form of these goods he only changes the exterior or the physical form of these things and converts them into something else this helps him to satisfy his wants you might have seen factories which convert milk which is a raw material into maybe butter or cheese or ice creams these are finished goods here the raw materials are getting converted into finished goods next is place utility now what what do we understand by place utility creating utility in terms of a place that is there is a possibility that where the goods are existing where the goods are 
currently they are not giving enough utility so their place has to be shifted i mean they have to be shifted from their current place in order to create utility so this can possibly be done by two methods first is extraction now there are many minerals and metals which are below the earth surface in the mines and ores like iron like bauxite now these when they now these metals or minerals when they are in their ores or mines are not of much utility but when they are extracted they give utility to us or the other example is let's say wheat now punjab produces a lot of wheat but in punjab the utility of wheat is not that much it is only when the wheat is exported or transported from punjab to the other states that it creates utility for other people again in the case of electronics china produces most of the electronics that are currently being used in the world those electronics give utility to people in the various parts of the world but if china didn't export them will they give utility to those people in europe or south america or other parts of asia those goods won't be able to give the utility to such people but only when these goods are transported or exported from china to the other parts of the world that they create utility next is time utility now time utility is creation of utility in respect of time with relation to time that means possibly the time at which the goods are produced is of importance some goods may be produced at a time when they create utility other goods may be produced at a time when they are not much of any utility so it is important to produce goods at a proper time for example we have rainy season in india from june to september now in this season people require a lot of umbrellas and raincoats so it is important to cater to the people during this period let's say you produce goods in winter season you produce umbrellas and raincoats in winter season will you be able to sell them no why because in winter season these goods will not give any utility to people likewise in winter season woolen clothes will give utility to people so it is important that these goods are produced winter i mean the woolen goods are produced before winter for people to have utility in them so time is also important and finally we have personal utility now what is personal utility personal utility is nothing but personal skills talents experience judgment these things also help people to provide utility i've already given you the examples of doctors lawyers chartered accountants even actors musicians sports persons like cricketers they all give personal utility because they have the required skills and talents to be useful for others so production is nothing but creating utility production does not mean creating matter it only means creating utility out of the available matter this is very important